This tutorial is part of a YouTube course playlist and a Udemy course. You can access the first phases of this course on YouTube or the whole course at Udemy. Links to both can be found in the video description. Let's go ahead and prepare the .env library so that we can start to actually create environment variables and utilize it within our application. A simple process. First of all, we need to pip install the python.env. I'll just copy that. Let's get back into our project and pip install. Now, let's not forget that we are saving or recording all the packages that we have been installing in the requirements file. So we do need to, we do need to pip freeze and then the requirements. So just update that. So we should now have the python.env library now recorded. We're going to store all the environment variables within a new file called .env. So that's where we're going to store them. So when we create environment variables, it's, they're going to have a key value set up. So whatever the key name is equals and then whatever the value is. So that's the setup that we're going to create. Because we are using environment variables for maybe multiple parts of our project, we want to potentially make sure that they are available or set up when the project starts. So what we can do is now start to think about our project folder. So we're going to go ahead and create a new app folder called app. That's where we're going to be building our app. Now you can call that whatever you like. I'm just going to call this generic name app. Okay, so that's where we're going to start building our application. When we run the fast API application, everything's going to be stored and developed within inside of this app folder here. Now what I can do is create a new file. Let's create an initialization file. So whenever I actually create or when run when I run my fast API application, I want to run and set up the environment variables. So if I place that within the environment file here, that's what so the initialization file here, that's exactly what's going to happen. Whenever I run or reference the app module, it's then going to run whatever code is in here. So what I can do now is actually set up my environment variables in preparation. So here I'm going to need to from dot uh, from dot env. Let's go ahead and import load dot env. Okay, so that loads things in, and then I just need to run load dot env. Don't forget the parentheses. So here, what we've done is we've loaded up dot env, and then the load dot env. The purpose of this function is to load environment variables from a dot env file into the current environment. So this .env file typically would contain, like we've seen, key value pairs of environment variables. So each line will be represented in a single variable declaration. So for each variable inside of here, there will be a single line. So when load.env is called, it reads the contents of this file and sets the specified environment variables in the current environment. Once we start actually building within this app folder, that's going to make a little bit more sense maybe. But that's pretty much everything now set up with the load.env function. 